Well, hey there, folks. Uh, I just wanted to let you guys know I'm still on top of things. Uh, I want you to go out to solarham.net and, and don't work for these guys in any way uh, or to any site that you can find. But we just had another X, -Clare, X class flare event. Uh, this one's looking like an X5 or better. It's refreshing now. But this event just happened within the last few moments. And uh, but here it is. Uh, I want you to also uh, go back out here. It's found right on their main page. Um, it looks like we got a major X 2.3 solar flare detected, departing 18 or 75. I'm thinking that this is the one. Uh, yeah, because it's uh also responsible for an R3 level radio blackout. Again, uh, like my previous video, um, R3 is a mid-range. R4 is uh, serious, folks. R3 is serious, uh, but an R4 isn't far behind. And uh, let's see what we got. Uh, we got our uh, shields up. Looks like it's doing all right. And uh, there we go over what our current absorption is. And as you can see, the Southern Pole is taking it hardcore. We can expect a uh, an intense day tomorrow morning here uh, in our hemisphere. I can guarantee you that. Uh, but wanted to bring your attention, though, X-Class Flare Alert uh, just happened. Like I said, these readings are not going to go down, folks, these proton readings. Uh, when I was telling you about the uh, C, and C flares, they were going to maintain a level. Uh, and produce a possible X flare, and here we go. Lo and behold, X flare event right now, folks. Uh, can happen in the middle of the night or in the middle of the day, and uh, and we're, we had some M's, and then see the C levels there, okay, and then it had an M, and then boom, right up uh, above an X. So uh, stay tuned, folks. Um, uh, BP Earthwatch, uh, he might have something out on this. Now, this stuff is also directed right at ice and, uh, and Mars. And then you have a, 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 a an alignment here with Venus and, and Mercury and the Earth. Okay, and uh, this could cause some serious rebound effect as well. Uh, the Emerald Spiral will not be updated for this yet, so I'll stay tuned on that. Uh, but yeah, I was about ready to turn on some Frasier on Netflix and uh, thought I'd come out and take a look. Your BZ ratings, actually, I wanted to point that out. You got a negative 1.4, which isn't bad. Uh, but we do have some serious penetration uh, of the uh, protons here. And and if you just keep in mind, if our uh, magnetosphere is charged with electrons and then is encountering these protons, yikes. Okay. But yeah, they'll say they're saying it's a 2.3, and uh, it looks a little bit bigger than that though on the graph though, to tell you the truth. Uh, but we'll see what it comes out in another hour or so. But there we go, folks. X class flare alert. Take care. Another quick thing I wanted to uh, point out uh, before I ended this one. Please stay tuned to this map right here. This is the one that's going to affect you immediately here. All right, for the global D region absorption maps, okay? And uh, the alerts that are going out for the uh, the radio frequency emissions, okay? Those are the ones that impact us immediately. Uh, also, if we get a radiation storm, uh, which they're not stating yet. They say geomagnetic storm, but no radiation storm yet. You got the protons down here. Uh, they're saying uh, a less class for M and a lower class for X. Well, we just had an X, so I think they need to update that as well. I just wanted to point those few things out, though, before I actually said goodbye for the night. Take care, guys.